up everybody happy new year 2025 so we're gonna start off the year with a color grading tutorial so I'm gonna be doing um, a color grading tutorial on Premiere Pro I switched to DaVinci Resolve for my color grades about a year ago and I do know that a lot of people still use uh, Premiere Pro for their grades so I'm gonna be showing you how I color grade on Premiere Pro uh, and as always I'm not a color grading to a professional I've never been to any film school. I just do what I think works for me and I might make some mistakes, so don't hold me for that. So um, let's get right into it. Um, so I already went ahead and imported my clip. Uh, this is a video I did for a brand a couple months ago and this was shot in Sony S-Log3, uh, Sony A7S3. And I'm just gonna use um, one of the shots from, from there. So, um, First things first is uh, we're going to be using some lots um, and I'm going to link those lots down in the description below so you can download and try them out on your own shots. Uh, so I'm going to create an adjustment layer. I'm just going to drag and drop over my clip. Then I'm just going to. Um, so I'm using two adjustment layers. So let's go to the color grading tab. And then I'm going to select the first adjustment layer and here I'm going to go to my creative and then I'm going to go to browse and let's add the Rec 709 lots here. Um, so this is the, the before after for the Rec 709 lots and then on the top adjustment layer, we're going to go to the creative again and then we go to uh, browse and then we select the orange and two lots I have right here. Again, uh, they are going to be linked down in the description below. You can download and try them out on your own shots. So here, um, color grading is more about solving problems. When you apply a lot to your shots, it, it comes with some problems just because the lot was not created with maybe the particular shot you have right, right there. So it's, gonna, it's not going to be the same like maybe the person who made the lot. So what you have to do is um, try to fix the problems that you have. So right now, what are the problems that I have? So the image is oversaturated and it's overexposed. So the first thing I'm gonna do before anything else is I'm gonna come to the intensity of the lots and kind of try to reduce the intensity of the lots. So it's here at 100. So I'm gonna put it somewhere at say 75. But first, before all of this, um, what kind of look do I wanna get? So I'm trying to get a natural but vibrant look. So that's the look I'm going to be going for. You need to have this information because then it's going to uh, give you a direction. So you have a purpose while you're doing color grades. Uh, most of the times, a lot of people don't have um, a look that they're going for. They're just playing around. And at the end of the day, if you have, if you don't have a look that you're going for, you're just going to be playing around and end up wasting a lot of time without actually having a solid, um, solid outcome. So I'm trying to get like a natural but vibrant look. So that's the look I'm going for. And I shot this uh, right about in the morning at about 8 a.m. in the morning. So, you know, in the morning, you usually have like um, cool tones. So I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm trying to go like for a cool tone. So I'm going to go to my basic color correction. And then I see the image is kind of like overexposed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce my highlights. Say right about here. And then I'm gonna reduce my shadows too. See, it creates sort of like, it creates like, I'm trying to create like contrast in the shot. So here we see right now it's too warm. And I said, I'm trying to like create like um, a cool tone. So what I'm gonna do is add some cool to it. So let's add like a minus 13. That's gonna be like to the blue side. Um, so not minus 14. Let's see what it gives. Yep, yep. That, that's exactly what I want. And then uh, here I, I see that the skin tone has like a little um, green to it. So I'm gonna add some magenta in the skin um, in the shot. Uh, so I'm gonna add say five. So just by doing like, just like adding the lots and just doing this basic color, color correction we came from here to here so a lot has been done just in a few in a few minutes 
so much has been done but we still have uh, i mean we already kind of like there but we still have like to tweak and just play around with a lot of things so i mean usually i just kind of play around a lot to i mean just to try some things out because you never know um some some ideas might be better than the original one you had so i just play around uh don't be scared to play around i see some, a lot of people get scared to try things out don't be scared to try things out because if you don't get what you want you can always just undo it um so i'm gonna go here to the creative and you know just kind of like play around and see if we can get something better um so let's see if we add some say some yellow or maybe some blues i oh, know yellow is good let's add some more into it and i feel like that's too much right about there And then from here, I'm gonna go to my color, um, my color wheels. And my color wheels, I'm gonna um, kind of like just play around again. See if I re reduce um, the exposure of my highlights. Or oh, let's increase it rather. And then the mid tones. Yeah, I'm gonna reduce the exposure of the mid tones. Then the shadows. I'm gonna reduce that too. So this is the before and the after. Before and the after. So right now I'm just trying to add some contrast in the shot. I'm just trying to add some contrast in the shot. So this is where we are right now. We're right here. This was the before. I said this was the before. And this is the after so we've, we've actually done a lot in just this um we've actually done a lot just like just tweaking like uh, some basic things um i still feel like uh, maybe the skin tone is not so i'm gonna go to my uh, my curves and i'm gonna try to create like an alert s not too much though i'm just gonna play around here again just try to get like some contrast out of this Right about there. Before, after, before, after. So basically, I feel like we already like we already got a look. Cause if you look at it, it's kind of like uh, it's it's not it's kind of like a natural look, but very saturated. Um, let's see if we try to reduce the saturation a little bit. Let's see. Um, let's put the saturation right about like ninety five here. There we go. So that's so that's how I do my color grade and Premiere Pro, guys. So feel free to download the lot in the description below so you can try it out and let me know what you think about um, the lot. So um, that's gonna be it, guys. So uh, it was it was a good time. <laughs> well, I'm gonna be uploading more videos like this, and I just like uh, you know creating looks uh, in a very short time. So uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and be sure to comment and let me know what you think about the look. Um, all right, peace up, guys. I hope you have an amazing year as you start of the year. So see you in the next one.